By now you must realise I love a bit of rusty stuff, whether it be an old wine barrel, a slab of timber, or just using something because it's got rust on it. So, I've got an idea for a gate. It's got the rusty look, and I'll show you how to achieve it. An old door is where it all starts. Now, this panel is a pretty good fit. And I've got this other piece. It doesn't match, but they're all rustic, so it's fine. I'm going to cut into here, and I'm going to run a piece of timber through here. And by the time I paint everything up, it'll look like it was always there. The one thing you need to concentrate on if you want this to last a long time is preparation. But this being an old cedar door, I can really guarantee it that some of this paint is lead-based. We got rid of it in the late 80s, but it's pretty dangerous stuff. Get rid of all the flaky paint. It's great to do it outside in a ventilated area, as long as it's not a really windy day. I've got a disposable drop sheet on the ground so I can just pick it up and put it straight into the bin without having to sweep anything. A few pieces of decorative moulding will add some of that wrought iron look that I'm after. And a couple of timber buttons will look just like hand-forged rivet. Now, as far as the door goes, it's made of cedar. Cedar's pretty good outside, especially if you look after it. So a couple of coats of undercoat getting into all the nooks and crannies, because the only place it's really going to rot is where two pieces of timber join each other like any of these joints. Now, to change this from a white timber door to a rusty gate, I'm using Dulux's Design Rust. Now, it's a two-part system. I put two coats of this on. I need to leave it for 12 hours in between coats. Now, the magic. Because this has got metal fines in it, I'm presuming this has got an acid in it. But Dulux are pretty tight-lipped about what's in it. Two coats of this, you should see something change relatively quick, and it'll keep changing just like a real piece of metal that's rusted. After the undercoat, and then waiting for the two base coats of this rust paint to dry, and then putting on the final coats, if you're a little bit impatient now, it's OK, because you can speed up the process just by misting it down with water. It's only been on for five minutes. You can already see the rust coming through there, and it's really going to come out and pop. Now, I've just spent the last 24 hours trying to create rust. For this piece, I'm actually going to try and take a little bit off. But I still want it to look tortured. I just want to get rid of all the loose, flaky paint so it's safe around hands and our eyes. I'm actually going to install this when the gate is hung. That way, it's a little bit easier to work with. Then you just hang it like any old door, even though it's an old gate now. Now, if you didn't see me make this out of a timber door, you wouldn't know any different. And once you put this in, it is going to look authentic. Now, to keep it in place, I'm going to use some copper brackets, kind of like plumber's ones. And the reason why I've gone with copper is they won't rust. Well, it just goes to show what you can do. Everything new is old again, and instantly your garden can have a bit of old world charm about it. The best thing about it, you can make up a story about where it came from. I think it was from the dining room of the Titanic. Or was it from the captain's quarters of the Endeavour?